This is Fox 26 Morning News at 8 a.m. From high-speed internet to customer satisfaction, we're taking a look at the top tech predictions for next year. That's coming up. 844 right now, and Verizon and Samsung recently announced plans to create a 5G smartphone. This comes as AT&T brings 5G service to the city of Houston. But what is 5G and what other advances in technology will we see in the new year? Here to talk 2019 tech predictions is tech expert Nick Walney. Good morning. Morning. Thanks for having me back. We're glad you're here. So 5G seems to be all the talk right now. Mm -hmm. It is live now here in Houston. Mm -hmm. Does anybody able to use it or how does this work? <laughs> well, it's a little controversial because 5G, it's the next generation of network technology. Each each time there's a really, really big uh, advancement in technology, they name it as a new generation. So 5G uh, promotes that cell phone speeds will become 10 to 100 times faster. A lot of the really fancy technology people have been talking about, like smart cars, self-driving cars, and surgeons using robots for surgery, all that stuff, that can't really happen until this goes into effect. The reason it's controversial is that now with AT&T's announcement that Houston's a test city, the 5G network exists, but our devices don't pick it up yet. So uh, both Verizon and Samsung announced that in early 2019, they are going to create smartphones that will have that 5G capability and that's going to allow people to experience these speeds that haven't previously been possible. You apparently have been predicting that in 2019 there's going to be deep fakes, basically mm -hmm. fake video out there to make you think that it's real? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a deep fake, um, it's an industry term. It refers to a video that has been doctored, but because video technology and editing technology is so good now, it can be doctored in a way that a consumer or regular user can create video that looks real. Kind of think about like uh, on Snapchat or Instagram, you have like face swapping filters and stuff like that. That's fun. Some people are using it more for detriment. And so uh, the problem with that is that 45% of people get at least some of their news from Facebook. Sure. So rather than going to like a credible media source or a mm -hmm. news source, they're getting uh, their information about what's going on from maybe a fan page or something like that. The issue is that people are able to produce fake video and to the untrained eye, you don't even realize that it's mm -hmm. fake. And then this just starts getting shared and then that misinformation is out there so how can consumers avoid getting duped you want to always look to a credible media source uh, to get information and even if there's something floating around perhaps on your social channels like uh, a really sexy clickbaity headline or something like that click through see where you know that publication is getting its information from is it based on science is it based on proof or is it just conjecture so always going back to where does that source information yeah, come from good advice there have been a number of breaches, whether it's Facebook or whether it's Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how can we as consumers protect ourselves in 2019? Well, you want to be thinking about what information you're putting into these different uh, software applications, right? So take something like, let's use Facebook, since it's in the news so much right now. It's remembering that that is a private server, that you're ultimately you're opting in to use a resource like that in order to stay connected to people. And so just being a little bit more mindful of what information is going where, when are you kind of handing over perhaps, you know, financial information or something like that, and knowing that if it's a private company that built that technology, then that private company is probably also collecting information mm. for financial purposes as well. Well, 2019 yeah. is going to be an exciting <laughs> year in tech, that's for sure. Oh, yes. So many advances coming our way. Nick, we appreciate it. Thanks so yeah. much. Thanks.